guys, Jamal Stone back with the Cinema Couch at the Bad Film Festival, talking to one of the creators of the film festival himself. Hi, I'm Star Kendall, uh, one of the co-founders of the Bad Film Fest. Now, this thing was really cool. What, what inspired you guys to, to, to start this? Uh, well, we did a Bad Theater Fest uh, back in October, um, and we had shown little videos um, in between the plays just to kind of cleanse the palate and give somebody, you know, every, the audience uh, something different to look at. And then we thought, oh, let's do a standalone film festival. Uh, and that's just how it kind of started. So we put out calls for submissions and accepted people in and then hosted this tonight or this weekend. So that's how it came about. Very cool. How long, how long has this gone on? Uh, well, this is the first year. And it was the first year for the Theater Fest back in October. So... Um, uh, yeah, and we started planning for this about a few months ago and just put it all together. Very cool. So, so you guys like excited now? Are you guys going like, to continue? This is going to be a yearly thing? Uh, How's it going to go down? Yeah, oh, definitely. We'd love to. You know, we, have, we, we have plans to continue doing this, you know, at least as far as we're getting ready to work on the second, uh, the second annual Bad Theater Fest. And so we'll probably plan to do the film fest again probably about the same time next year or, some, you know, or whenever we can find a space or... You know, whatever come, you know, whatever works best for whatever we're doing. So, right, you had some very cool movies. There was a movie by a 13-year-old girl, which was exciting because I've never seen anything like it. There was a 3D movie. I have the glass sword, a 3D film. There's some really like cool films you can't see anywhere. What was your selection process picking these films for the festival? Yeah, we had about 90 submissions that we had to go through. Um, some, and it was a very kind of random, uh, like. Uh, process to go through um, to pick what we wanted. I mean, because we define, we left, we let the the filmmaker define what bad means. So, you know, it it, uh, it could just, you know, it's badass, bad of the bone. It could be just bad, you know, like um, campy. Um, you know, maybe it looks great, but the sound sucks. You know, or vice versa. You know, like you, you know, and so that's kind of like what, you know, we would just throw everything into what a bad, you know, what makes a bad film. You know, and and of course with. Everything that, you know, like everything that comes out in Hollywood sometimes, I mean, they spend millions of dollars and then those movies are bad. But yet, like somebody can just take a camera and an idea and uh, make something really great. And that was, you know, so it was kind of take the pressure off of being, don't, be, don't worry about being bad or good. Just create something. And, um, and so then when we were looking at films to put in the festival, it just was really like, oh, like, we like that one. It made us laugh, you know, or it was like, hey, it's 60 seconds, <laughs> you know, like we can fit that in somewhere. And like, you know, we, you know, and we had a small screening um, crew of some friends of ours that got together and kind of like give their thoughts. And then Sean Wickens, uh, my co-founder and co-producer, um, we would then kind of look at that and determine like, oh, okay, like, you know, and say yes or no, what we wanted to put in. So very cool. Okay. So where can people find out? information they want to attend it this year they want to attend it next year where can they find you guys uh, the best thing is our website uh, badfilmfest.com uh, or badtheaterfest.com um, we're also on twitter at badtheaterfest you find us online google us you know we're on facebook so thank you so much for interviewing the thank cinema you. couch thank you. thank you guys for joining us we'll see you next time <laughs>